until you accomplish everything that God has said you will accomplish. Amen. guys welcome to my channel my name is christiana and you are watching christiana flourishing thank you to all my subscribers and friends i just want to say i appreciate you how wonderful you are amazing may god which will bless you thank you for keep coming back watching my video and subscribing thank you so much and if you're watching me you're not subscribed please Click on the red button that says subscribe and put the bell on top that whenever we upload the video you'll be notified so this video you're about to watch please i will encourage you to watch it to the end and take your time to leave your comment at the comment section and share the video out thank you so much enjoy Oh, you see something remarkable. The walking of grace. Act of the Act of the Apostles, chapter 2. Take it from, let me take it from verse 20. Okay? Let's take it from verse 20. He said, the sun, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of Jesus shall be saved ye men of israel hear these words jesus of nazareth a man approved of god among you by miracles and wonders and signs which god did by him in the midst of you as you yourself also know him being delivered by the by the determination by the determined counsel and foreknowledge of god ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain whom God has raised having loosed the pain of death because it was not possible that he should be holding of it glory to God Hallelujah. now this is remarkable verse 25 he says for David speaketh concerning him oh hallelujah David speaketh concerning him he says, I foresaw the Lord always before my face. For he is on my right hand that I should not be moved. He is on my right hand that I should not be moved. What is moving you, brothers and sisters? What is moving you? What is causing you to shake? What is causing you to doubt yourself? The Lord is on your right hand. Don't be moved. Verse 26. He says, Therefore, did my heart rejoice. Let your heart rejoice. And my tongue was glad. Moreover, my, my flesh shall rest in hope. Glory to God. Hallelujah. My flesh shall rest in hope. Because thou will not leave my soul in hell. Neither will thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Glory to God. Neither will I suffer thy holy one to see corruption. What corruption is before you, brothers and sisters, you will not see it. Glory to God. He says, men and brethren, let me speak. Neither his flesh did see corruption. Glory to God. The walking of grace. The walking of grace. This man knew that until this grace come, his soul was going to be in hell. But once this grace is released, brothers and sisters, his soul is also what? Released from Hades. So the Bible says, when Jesus died and descended into hell, the Bible says all the dead bodies of the people who had died before the time of Jesus, he said they started rising up. Glory to God. You've not seen that in your Bible. You've not seen this in your Bible. All the people who died, when there was an earthquake on the day that Jesus died, that earthquake, as it shook, the dead bodies, they rose up. So David did what? David rose up. The Bible actually said in Matthew chapter 27, 28, he said, when these people rose up, he said people saw them 
and bear witness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So people bear, saw them and bear witness. The working of grace. They saw it and they bear witness of the working of grace. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's wrap this up. First Peter chapter 5. Remember, he said, grace for grace. Okay? Yes, sir. Oh, glory to yes, God. Sir. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Grace for grace. For grace. In other words, the grace to enter into grace. The grace to live in grace. The grace to partake in grace. That's what we have received. Amen. That is what is at work in us. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So you may not be qualified. You may not be qualified. But grace makes you qualified. The grace to become qualified to partake in the grace. That's what we have received. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I tell you, this grace is going to work in everything that is concerning you. Amen. Anything that's connected to you, this grace will work for that thing. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This grace will not leave you until you accomplish everything that God has said you will accomplish. Amen. In the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. This grace is not going to forsake you. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord. I want to wrap this up. He says, but the great but the God of all grace who had called us unto eternal glory by Jesus Christ, again by Jesus Christ after that ye have suffered a while makes you perfect glory to God makes you perfect glory to God brothers and sisters, sin will not hold you down sin will not hold you down someone say, hey you know we are not we are not perfect, we can make mistake we are not perfect brothers and sisters of course we can make mistake but we are perfect yes. glory to god and say I will, you're not living right how can or oh, it's only god that is perfect no i am perfect the bible says you are gods you are gods and sons of the most high you are sons of the perfect god you are perfect glory mm. to god so don't don't let anybody try to say oh they want to make you humble by telling you you are not perfect. So they'll tell you, don't say you're perfect now. That means you're trying to boast. You're trying to be God. No, you're not trying to be God. But you're speaking what the word of God says you should say. Oh. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I know you are blessed by this teaching. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time on my video. Subscribe, like, and share. See